You are looking at a precision missile strike hitting its target with incredible accuracy. Ever wondered what makes this possible? It's not the missile itself, it's the seeker system inside guiding it to perfection. And guess what? The cutting edge technology comes from an Indian company, Data Patterns. Today we are going to break down why Data Patterns is one of the most exciting players in India's defense indigenization story, how it's positioned for massive growth and what makes it different from the rest. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about the bigger picture. India's aerospace and defense sector is going through a structural transformation driven by the government's Atmanirbhar Bharat mission, basically making India self-reliant in defense production. The opportunity is massive. The Indian defense market, which was around 26 to 27 billion dollars in 2023, is expected to almost double to over 50 billion dollars by 2032. And India is already the world's fourth largest defense spender with a budget of rupees 6.21 lakh crores for 2024-2025. Here's the key part. Three quarters of India's defense capital procurement budget is reserved for domestic players. That means a big chunk of future orders will go to companies like Data Patterns. Data Patterns operates in some of the most critical and high-tech segments of defense electronics. Let's break down the big ones. Radars and electronic warfare, this is their core business, about 90% of revenue. They've delivered precision approach radars for the Army and Navy. And their EW systems handle everything from communication intelligence to airborne jammers. Then there's missile systems. Here's the exciting part. They've developed the seeker for the BrahMo supersonic cruise missile, basically the missile's eye. It passed live trials with excellent performance and landed them a major production contract. And then there's avionics. They are making advanced glass cockpit uh, displays and uh, mission computers for indigenous aircrafts like the light combat aircraft and helicopters. In short, they are in the heart of India's aviation modernization. What makes data patterns different from the competition? Two things, an integrated business model and IP property. They design, build and maintain everything in-house. That means better speed, quality and cost efficiency and zero dependency on foreign tech. Plus. They have invested 140 crore rupees in R&D recently to build a library of reusable components. This flywheel approach speeds up development and uh, makes each new project easier and faster. And they commit to supporting their products for 20 years, creating customer stickiness and recurring revenue. Now who is Data Patterns? Founded in 1998, this company has grown into one of the leading defense electronics providers in India. What makes it special? It controls everything in-house, design, R&D, prototyping, manufacturing and long-term support. It supplies advanced systems to the Ministry of Defense, DRDO and major defense PSUs like HAL and DEL. And here's the big strategic move. Earlier, data patterns was mostly making components and subsystems. Today, it's moving up the value chain, becoming a prime contractor for complete integrated systems. This shift doubles its addressable market from about 10,000 to 15,000 crores to nearly 30,000 crore rupees. Now let's talk numbers. Over the past five years, Data Patterns' revenue has grown at an average of 33% per year. Profits even faster, about 41% uh, annually. The company's operating margin is around 39%, which is huge for manufacturing and it's net debt free, sitting on over 424 crores in cash. That's a strong balance sheet. As of FY25, they reported revenue of 708 crore rupees and a profit of 222 crore rupees. The best part, they have an order book of 814 crore rupees and expect to secure new orders worth uh, 2,000 to 3,000 crores in the next two years. Of course, no company is risk-free. For data patterns, the biggest challenge is customer side delays like project clearances or final inspections. This can delay revenue recognition and strain cash flow. In fact, working capital is their biggest operational challenge. But here's the good news. The strong balance sheet and cash reserves give them a solid cushion. Now let's talk valuation. As of now, data patterns trades at a PE of about 65 times and an EV to EBITDA of 44 times, higher than peers like HAL and BEL. Why the premium? Because this company is seen as a high growth IP driven defense tech player, not just another industrial manufacturer. It has a five year revenue CAGR of over 35% and a PAT margin above 31%. That's why the market values it like a tech company. So what's the bottom line? 
Data patterns is not just riding India's defense indigenization wave. It's building the technology backbone for it. Strong growth, solid financials, deep intellectual property and a clear roadmap make this a company worth tracking. If you want more detailed company breakdowns like this, visit Trade Genie's Decoder page and for the full fundamental analysis of data patterns and other high potential stocks, head to our blog section. The links are in the description below. See you in the next video.